how to make an animating and an interactive hyperlinking PowerPoint just like this. Starting with the basics, so let's see how to add layouts and slides. So first of all, open up Microsoft PowerPoint and prepare your presentation and start from scratch. Use a blank one. So I prepared my own one already with these four slides. After you prepare them, as you can see, I've chosen the slides from here with uh, different contents and different layouts. So. Regarding to your own needs, you choose these layouts. You've got the title, title and content, comparison. Again, depending on your needs, you choose the layouts. As you can see here, I'm going to make a blank one and add text to it. Sometimes you really need to use um, your own creation, so you can't just rely on a specific layout. You can use uh, adding text from shapes in Home Ribbon, and this text, you can change the color, you can change how it looks like, the effect of this text, you can change pretty, pretty much a lot of things in it. As you can see, even the alignment. Slide Master. The Slide Master is basically very helpful. Click on View and under View you will see Slide Master. Choose the Master Slide at the top. It helps you change the whole theme and the whole font or even the color related to your all slides. Let's say you want to change uh, the background for every slide that you made in your presentation and it's already made. Let's say you want to change the font. You can't go slide by slide, so you can choose this option in order to change themes, font, background, layouts, and you can also use it for a really interesting feature, which is adding the logo, as you will see in a few minutes. Again, you can change the font, choose your any specific font that you really need, that you really desire for your presentation. Once you're done, just click close. The whole presentation will be changed according to what you choose. All the slides, even the one that I added as a text only, you know. So. Regarding the icon, as I told you, add the icon to one of the slides, okay? I need to adjust it and crop it in here. So uh, once you finish adjusting it, put it in ever, whatever you want, copy it, right click and copy it, and then go back to the master slide again. View, slide master, paste it in the master slide, and then you will be able, after you paste it, you will be able to see it in the whole slides. And this will make it easy for you to put the logo of your school in the whole PowerPoint presentation. Adding animation. After you're done making your presentation, usually we start adding animation. But here, in this case, I will start adding animation after I'm done with one of these slides. And I will show you some interactive uh, slide that you can make it fun for your students. First of all, get a question, any question that you want, and add the answers like a multiple choice in different um, shapes. And we will transform these shapes into buttons using those effects. 
Okay, once you right click on any shape that you add, you can go to format shape, change the shadow, change the reflection, add the glow like as you can see here. I'm adding some shadow to it. I'm adding a reflection and you can just adjust it the way you like it just to make it more interesting for the viewer. Whenever you're done editing the button, you can start now with the text. Don't forget this. To insert the text, right click and add text. Just join on it. And then you can change the font and size. Make it clear, make it big, because this is a PowerPoint. Once you're done, your button is ready. Copy and paste it many times, as many as you need, for your answers. Highlight the text and change the text. Do it over and over again uh, as per your needs. So I did it three times here in order to add uh, different answers. One of these answers will be the correct one, which is equal. And the other two will be wrong. And after we finish that, we're going to start making out the other two slides, which is the correct and the um, like wrong answer and correct answer. Once you're done these two slides, you will be able to start with your hyperlinks. Let's add the hyperlinks now. Of course, for the wrong answer slide and the correct answer slide, you need the home button because once this slide pops up, you need to get it back to the main answer, uh, answer slide. So you add an action button from shapes, draw it, like click and drag to draw it, and then choose the slide you want to hyperlink it to. In order not to do it twice, just copy and paste this button. It's a shape, so you just copy and paste it into the other slide and it will be exactly in the same place where you put it in the first slide. Now let's hyperlink the buttons to the correct slide and the wrong answer slide. Right click on the button, on the shape basically, choose place in the document where do you want to hyperlink it, to which slide, you have to know the name of the slide too, choose the slide name, and then click OK. Do this hyperlink process again and again, all right, according to your need. This one is the correct one, so you can add it as a correct one. Right click, hyperlink, and choose the correct slide. OK, and it's done. Now, animation. Let's go to the animation part. In animation, you have to just remember one thing have to put your animation in order. So you're starting with the text, for example, here, and then the other ones, the buttons. You have two options here after you choose your way of animation. You will see them in the pane. If you don't see the pane, you can click in the animation pane at the top. All right, you can change the start time. Okay, and you will see when each one of these will start. Now, as you can see, the four animation that I added for these for this slide are all on click, on mouse click. You can change it and put it after previous, of course, according to your needs. If you change it after previous, it will go automatically after the first thing that pops. For example, what is this sign? I have to click in order to see it. And then the rest will show automatically. Let's see it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much.